I know guys have come up with antenna noosing for, for, for years, but this makes it easy. No, don't Not all holes are good holes, guys. No, yeah. you're absolutely and right about that. I speak that from experience. Yeah, yeah, keep, keep it legal. Keep it legal, man. No little lobster. In today's episode, we're talking lobstering and a little hack and device that'll make your lobstering season a lot easier. Guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. Thank you for being here. This is my buddy Sean, and you know, I haven't done a lot of lobstering, but this guy, he's the man when it comes to that. And a lot of you guys use nooses and tickle sticks and stuff, and he's kind of taken that to the next level. And I'm gonna let him explain. Here's the thing. A lot of guys have probably done this before. I talk good, because I'm boosting you up here. I can speak well. Okay. Yeah. I, I, speak, I can use the entire word. Okay, cool. You know? <laughs> So, so all right, back to it, man. Back to it. All right. So a lot of you guys have probably done this before. A lot of you guys use nets. A lot of you guys use nooses. A lot of you guys use snares. But I, I'm a I'm a noose guy. I, I'm not a real tickle stick kind of guy. Um, I like having as least on me as possible. I like being simple. I like carrying as little you know gear as I can. Uh, light tickle stick. You know whatever you know whatever that might be. But what I kind of did was something that some of the old hats have probably been doing for a long time where they use a lobster noose. The thing is, when you use a lobster noose, it's either, a lot of you guys are familiar with the mechanical ones that you pull, and a lot of the older guys are probably familiar with the ones that use that green metal cable that you just very gingerly snake around a, a lobster's tail, and you noose them that way and you pull them out. It's a lot less stuff to carry, it's not mechanical, and you can reach a lot further with that, um, that old school noose, but that's real subtle, some guys don't like it, they like the mechanical thing just because it's, you know, they pull it and whatever. The problem that a lot of guys have had with the old school noose is that, I'll show you real quick, is that they'll, um, if, you're, if you're reaching up for, for a lobster to get it or something, it, it'll, it'll close, it won't, it won't, you can't manipulate it. it, it might fall closed when you're reaching underneath something, and then you have to reach back into that cave, open it back up, and reinitiate. What we did was, on that stick, you actually put a cant on the front of it, so it's bent. And then you actually take the where this engages that can't, you make that the same size as that little nipple you got sticking out there. So nipple. Nipple. Yeah. So you put that on there and it doesn't come off. You shave it down so that it slides off when you when you get it around the lobster. But what that can't lets you do is let's say he's in there sideways, you can turn it this way, turn it that way, reach up underneath him. If he's down low, you could turn it that way and have it be in back of him. That gives you so much more versatility. Using the weed eater line instead of um, the, the cable, uh, it's a, a lot more rigid, and it'll more times than not, it'll stay open all on its own, so you don't have to do that reinitiation thing. But putting it right there means that you don't have to think about it, and it just slides right off when you put it on there. So, But that's not the cool thing. Some guys went to making smaller ones. Now that's for, if you see a, a lobster in a hole, and he's got his antennas out, you know, and you can't tickle him out. You can't get behind him. You can't get the big part behind his tail. You can't poke him out. You can't get him into that net. If he's in a hole with a, just, just some lobster game, if he's in a hole with a lot of other lobsters and his antennas are touching other antennas, they don't feel it. The first couple, you know, inches of a, of a lobster's antennas where all the nerves are, you touch that, they go backwards. I've actually had them rush at me when you, when you put a light in their face or something. But what you do is you play a little game of, operation and you slide this down the length of that antenna till you get to where that fat knuckle is on his head because I'm sure you guys when, when you get frustrated and you can't tickle him out of that hole have reached in there trying to grab him and those antennas break off in your hands and you just got a handful of antennas and that big old lobster scoots off and you never see him again but if you slide this down that antenna all the way to his face get down to where his face starts where those two big knuckles are and you noose him. Now, what I did, uh, what you're noticing right there is, here I am moving it around, and it's not backing off, because we do a little trick with this cable here that makes it cinch down. 
even if he moves towards you, it doesn't come off. Like, what will happen is if you use a piece of regular monofilament that you don't do that to, is that, where did I put that thing? I guess I dropped it. There we go, there we go. Look at that. Okay, yeah, so. We're good some, at this. So, yeah. So, now this, this is really, yeah. anyway, <laughs> so, anyway, let's say you had, uh, you, you kind of came up with that idea, and you always said, hey, I'm going to make a noose, if I could just go down their face, so I don't have to worry about tickle sticking them out, and you tie a noose, you use a crimp or whatever it is, and you use regular monofilament or something, you know, and you get down that thing right there, and it nooses up on it, the moment he starts moving around, oh, look, it opens back up again. And, he, and you'll probably end up losing that lobster and get frustrated go that, you know, and say that that's not a viable way of catching that bug. But I'm going to tell you, the biggest ones I've ever gotten, I've, I've noosed by the face. Just some technique. Well, what will happen a lot of times is that they go down in there, you get it down to that knuckle, and your first instinct is to automatically pull back real quick. Don't do that. Either go sideways or push. Because when you go to pull back, and maybe this is what's happened with your monofilament, when you go to pull back... You lose that couple two or three inches you know so if you get it down to his head if you shove down to his head it locks on there and then he's not going anywhere he's coming out of that hole i either like to use heavy aluminum or stainless steel and um stainless steel tends to be a lot, a lot heavier the aluminum is you know lighter it's easier to manipulate but um where some guys use a tickle stick when they try to tie something on there if there's a great big one in a hole and you go into that hole and he's sideways, when you go to pull sideways, it bends like a fishing rod. You can't put any side pressure on him to pull him that way and then pull him that way. So I'll opt for a piece of stainless or a piece of, uh, a piece of aluminum. The aluminum uh, tends to be a little bit better because it's lighter. I like to bring these all the way down. Don't judge me because, you know, these are old lobster nooses from last season. i got to make some new ones. Um, but that wrap around there makes it easy to manipulate. It gives you something for your fingers to do this with. When it's all smooth, you know, you do that a couple hundred times, you know, in a day, getting a whole bunch of lobster or something like that. You can't do all that dexterous, you know, really finesse kind of whatever. But this really, being able to do that, lock that on there and move it all kinds of different ways to fit in a hole or whatever. I mean, let's say he's up on the, on the floor and the cave is real narrow. Where those mechanical ones work well is that you can put it in back of him and then extend the noose and go in back of him. The fact that this is on here like this, this just folds down. Goes the back of him. Oh, there it is. Turn around, and you can you can do it that way. It's so much less to carry. And the other thing that the biggest benefit is when you reach up into a cave to get one, if it's mechanical and you can't go past how wide you are, you know this because you've got to use both hands. But this you can use one hand, so you've got the length of that, and then the length of your arm that you can reach out, work your light with this one, put your hand on this with this one. I mean, it's it's so much you know, more hands-on. You don't need a whole lot. You can just rock with this. I rock with two. When I'm going down, I take one like this. I'm looking at the cave. I got another one like this. And, you know, if I look in the cave and, oh, he's facing me. Come here. Oh, he's, he's facing away from me. Come here. And, or if there's two of them in there, both of you come here. And, you know, you're, you're, you're pretty much good to go. But that takes away so much of all the effort that comes into it. And I mean, like some of the places that I've been doing this, like I go into some really sketchy, what made me come up with this and start doing this, I know guys have come up with antenna noosing for, for, for years, but this makes it easy. You know, and, and and the fact that I've got one on one side, one on the other side, it's one-stop shopping, but like I used to fish in a place, and I still do, where there were these monster lobsters in holes that you couldn't tickle out. They just backed up into them, and you just couldn't get them to come out. So you'd sit there and look at them, and they'd look back at you, and you'd be... Okay, and then you, yeah, exactly. And they're so far in there, you reach your tickle stick and back them, tap, 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 tap. And all they would do is go further down into the hole. This way, when they would look at you, you're like, okay, you're going to look at me fine. Yeah, there we go. And and you would just pull them out by their face. The other thing this is great for is stone crabs. Stone crabs are in a hole. You know, you grab that claw, out comes that, you know, whatever. You slide that over the claw, you pull them out. You do your stone crab thing and and, and it worked out great. It was just a, just a, a plus. And then... Uh, Spanish lobster. A lot of you guys don't realize Spanish lobsters aren't regulated. There's no size limit on them, and they tend to be kind of smaller. I, I think they tend to taste better than regular spiny lobster, yeah. but you know, sometimes because they are small, how do you get them? I mean, some guys grab them. I mean, but if you're not that dexterous, if you're not whatever, you could this super easy. You use this like a tail noose, and you just tail noose a little Spanish lobster and add them to the bag. But I mean, it uh, just makes things so much simpler and 
like I said, don't judge me on how torn up these are. They've, they've, they've bagged a lot of bugs, but I mean, I'll probably make some new ones before the season starts. I got a bunch of buddies that'll call me up and go, Hey, you got any of those loot nooses sitting around or they'll just come over to my garage and they'll steal them. Yeah. And I won't have any for me, you know, but I mean, maybe I'll, you know, you know, maybe if later on Brian wants to make a video, cause I know you guys saw a lobster video and there's no lobsters, but you know, it's not lobster season yet. We're not going to break the law. So, you know, in a week or two, maybe we'll put together a, a lobster video oh, yeah, where we actually sure. show you how, how it actually work. works in the water. You know, and, and you'll be super duper surprised at just how easy and how spoiled you get. You know, it, it, it makes it a lot more simple and a lot, well, actually it's a lot more fun. Sometimes, I mean, a lot of guys that I've shown how to do this don't even have this part anymore just because they'll rock with three of these. And they'll just one, right one, two, knuckle. yeah, and they, they go right to the knuckle. They'll yeah. pull all three of them out of the house, and you know, and they'll and they'll literally come back up with three sticks, you know, and three lobster on them. Yeah. So, I mean, it just, uh, I, I'll be honest with you. A lot of times when I'm swimming, I mean, normally you, you swim with what's important. Like this would be the one that's out because you're gonna tail noose it. Normally, when I'm swimming, I'm normally swimming with this one out in front because when you see the not lobster initially, you see him facing you, and you're seeing all that. Now, if he's easy and he's on the sand, he's under a ledge, you can tickle him out. And put a net over him. But you've got one hand here, one hand there. You know, if he's in a cave and you want to use a light, okay, here's my light. There he is. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Put down my light. Grab my net. Tickle, tickle. T I mean, it's just it's it's easier just to do that. And you just get in there, swim down, bump, bump, and you're and done. You're done. Yeah. You're done. Right. And you're done. And that and that the fact that it locks up on itself and it yeah. doesn't back off means that you don't have to keep constant pressure on him. Yeah. If he, you're just securing your catch. Yep. So, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes they'll grab a rock inside there. And they, you got to really get your hand, like really pull on them. And the fact it's like two hundred pound test, you're you can really pull on them. But you know, if you just had the regular monofilament, if you have to readjust your angle, yeah, it's going like this. Yeah, like it'll this. open up and he'll he'll back out or whatever. Right. But you can literally hook onto this, and if the stick, is, if you want a, like a, a stainless steel stick, yeah. you literally leave it down there, go up and grab a breath, come back down, and you know, and rework him out. Or real pro tip is when you got him locked up in there. Um, this is only so long. Get to get him to where you want to. Snake your hand up in there, and you can feel where his head is, and you grab by his knuckles, and you can pull him out. I'm not saying stick your hand in a hole and get stuck. Yeah, you got to be safe. But yeah. I mean, it. Uh, you can definitely maneuver them and manipulate them a lot more when you've got that much force that you can put on them. The regular tickle sticks just bend. Yeah, and you they're can't. What, uh, plastic. Uh, they're fiberglass. Fiberglass. Yeah, yeah. and they'll, they'll 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 just like the same way your your fishing rod flexes and yeah. bends. You know, you can't put any of that side pressure yeah. or back him up. Yeah, right. so they're just kind of bouncing against that yep. flex. And yep. then it's the noose is going in and out when you're using the other type yep. of line. And it just I mean, it's, it's, they can work if you're pulling straight back. So long as you're yeah. pulling back with straight force, then it's all in, in, it's in that yeah, same line. In a real world scenario, you know, you're, you're trying to adjust with the yeah, current. Absolutely. Different things. So it's, it's that's ideal if you're just standing there and doing it. But yep. this will actually assist in latching yeah. on so you don't have to worry about that. And you can just literally get the yeah, lobster absolutely. Out, so. right. And a lot of the old heads that like to that, that are real lobster murderers, uh, they don't use mechanical nooses. They don't tickle stick. They don't whatever. Like the old guys that that hold their breath for a long time, go yeah. down. Literally have two or three sticks stuck in the the back of their belt, yeah. and they'll just noose them or whatever. But not, not sticks like that. I've got a couple guys that I make them for just because, you know, I showed guys what I was doing, and they were like, I, I want that. And right. like they they tail noose. Some guys aren't subtle enough to do the antenna noosing, but they'll tail noose it, and the fact that you can manipulate that knot and keep it from opening and whatever, it gives you a lot more control of how you get in there and, and you grab them, so yeah. it worked out pretty good for them, but I mean, and I, I hang out with a lot of old cats, I'm an old cat myself, yeah. you know, but um, you know, it, it, it ended up working out a lot better, but if, if that helps you guys out, I'm sure that you guys probably saw that and figured, oh, I could probably make one of those, you know, if you can, rock and roll, man. Ha have fun. If, if, if it steps your game up, it'll step your game up. But if not, I mean, maybe give Brian a call or something yeah. like that. Maybe we, we might have one or two of them sitting around for yeah, you to play yeah. with. We can, so. we, we'll make some. and uh, Well, he'll make some. I'll make the video. He'll make the nooses. And uh, if you're interested in getting one and buying one, you know my email is briansbemedia at gmail.com. I'll put it right here. You can hit me on Instagram, at Brian the CEO, on TikTok, or wherever, and we'll figure out how to get one of these nooses into your hands because you know what they are pretty awesome and uh i can't wait till we uh, actually dive in the water and show them exactly how it works that's, probably, that's gonna be fun man. yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun yeah yeah all and right have a safe lobster oh. season and you guys you know what, say that again what 
Oh, because I started saying something. Oh, so. okay. Now, apparently I'm rude because I interrupt, but it's yeah, okay. Cut me <laughs> off when I was trying to say something, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the producer here, guys. I know. <laughs> no. Anyway. But, uh, yeah. Safe but, yeah, lobster? you've been, yeah, you guys have a safe lobster season and, 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 and you know, catch them up and be safe, you know, and, um, just, just try not to do that by yourselves. Don't go sticking your hands in holes by yourselves. You know, don't not all sketchy. holes are good holes, guys. No, no. you're absolutely and right I about that from experience. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't, <laughs> and I, keep it legal. Keep it legal. Yeah. 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 Keep, keep it legal. It, keep it legal, man. No little lobster. We no. want big lobster. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah big lobster. Much yeah. better for grill. Oh Lord. See? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to lose your license. Man. No. No, man. Yeah. But, yeah. But yeah. Absolutely. You guys have a fun season, and then and, and go catch them up. Yeah, yeah. Drop some comments below. What do you think of this product? And would you be interested in buying one? And uh, guys. That's it. We're gonna wrap this up right now. Oh, before oh, wait, we, well, yeah, before we wrap it I'm up, not wrapping know, it up. No, we're not wrapping not it yet. up because that's that's one fishing hack. You yeah. know, there, there's there's a bunch more coming. You yeah. know, there's this some stuff true. that you know we should probably not be sharing with you guys, but you know, maybe we'll see what happens. There's little secrets that yeah. come across over the years, <laughs> and people really just don't know about it. It makes our lives easier. Yeah, there you go. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys. You know the deal. Well, first hit subscribe and, and turn on your notification bell, especially if you're rocking with the stuff we're talking about. And um, as usual, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.